Hello everyone, welcome back to TennisOutlet.in. Today I want to share some information about WTA ranking system and how to get a WTA ranking. I'm Sarjanya Bhavasiti and let's begin. This video is very important if you want to learn about women's tennis. I absolutely love this topic and it's practically the only reason why we have so many female tennis players in the world right now. WTA stands for Women Tennis Association and was founded in 1973 by Billie Jean King and some prominent female tennis players. The formation of the WTA marked a significant milestone in the history of women's tennis, leading to a greater recognition, opportunities and empowerment for female athletes worldwide. It was as a response to the disparities and inequalities faced by women in professional tennis at that time. The WTA ranking system operates on a points-based system where players earn points based on their, on their performance in the ITF and WTA tournaments. Okay, before we get to the WTA ranking system, let's discuss a bit about International Tennis Federation because that's the path to getting a WTA ranking. The ITF circuit serves as a stepping stone for aspiring tennis players aiming to transition to the professional level. ITF tournaments are categorized into various tiers based on prize money and WTA points. Starting from W15, the ITF women tennis circuit has W35, W50, W75 and W100 tournaments. These are the different levels of tournaments. For example, a W15 tournament has a prize money of 15,000 US dollars and winner takes 15 WTA ranking points. Same way, a W35 tournament has 25,000 US dollars as total prize money and winner takes 35 WTA points. And it goes on like that. Now let's take a look at the WTA points table for ITF tournaments. If you are a player who is looking to begin your WTA journey, there are three ways that you can get entries into the beginning of the tournaments that is W15. Every W15 tournament has three spots reserved for the ITF juniors top 100 players to make their transition smooth. Same way you can play your national level tournaments and get a national ranking to get entry into the W15 tournament. The third way is called ITF ranking system which has some allocated points for players who lose in the qualifying rounds of W15, W25 tournaments. This way you can keep playing the W15 and W25 tournaments and climb up the rankings to progress to the next level of tournaments. If you are a player who is looking to start playing WTA circuit tournaments, then I would recommend you to start looking at tournaments which are in Africa or South America where you can get entry easily. Some of the tournaments that are organized by WTA are the Grand Slam tournaments like the Australian Open, the French Open, Wimbledon and the US Open. And then there are some premium categorized tournaments like the W1000 and W500 and then W250. Last but not the least, W125 stands as the first level of tournament that is organized by WTA. I save the best information for now. It's a bit of a task to get a WTA ranking. In order to officially have a WTA ranking, a player must earn WTA ranking points in three valid tournaments in a year or a minimum of 10 WTA points in one tournament. The number of points awarded depend on the tournament's category and player's rounds reached. Here's a breakdown of WTA point system. That's all for today and I will see you in the next video. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel and see you soon.